Hello students, a very pleasant and warm greetings to you all. Today we are going to revise unit 14, Circulation in Animals. Let's enter into our first topic. First we have to see location of human heart. Location of human heart. The heart is located in the thoracic cavity. This is the thoracic cavity or chest region. So the heart is located in the thoracic cavity. The heart is situated between the lungs. These are the lungs. So the heart is situated between the lungs. Understand children? Yes. So uh, this heart, this is a heart, is it? The heart is made up of special type of muscles. Heart is made up of special type of muscles. That muscles are known as cardiac muscles. The uh, special type of muscles are known as cardiac muscles. The heart is slightly tilted towards the left side. So the heart is slightly tilted towards the left side. Tilted means a sloping position. Is it? Towards the left side and above the diaphragm. This is the diaphragm. Is it? So above the diaphragm heart is present. Okay. So, so heart is slightly tilted in the left side as well as above the diaphragm the heart is present. The heart is a pumping organ as we all know, is it? Heart is a pumping organ. It pumps out blood into the blood vessels. So through the blood vessels, the heart pumps blood. Okay, children. Now, you see in this diagram, the heart is covered with a double walled sac. So this is the outer covering or layer or sac. Okay, so this double walled sac is known as pericardium. So the heart is covered with a double walled sac. The sac is known as what? Pericardium. This pericardium contains lubricating fluid. So lubricating fluid is present in the pericardium. That fluid is known as pericardial fluid. What is the name of the uh, fluid? Pericardial fluid. So this pericardial fluid reduces friction during heartbeat. So this pericardial fluid reduce friction during the heartbeat. Just you imagine a door. Okay, we all have doors in our home, is it? Sometimes when we open or close, it produces sound. So at that time, what we used to do? We should apply or we used to apply oil in the hinges. So here that oil is a lubricating fluid and it reduces the friction. Because of that, Afterwards, uh, we won't hear any sound. Is the children like that? This pericardial fluid also reduces friction during heartbeat. Then one more function also there that is this pericardial fluid protect the heart from mechanical injuries. What is the meaning of mechanical injuries? That mechanical injuries means, for example, sometimes unknowingly we may dash on the wall or somebody has beaten on our chest. Is the children? So at that time, this fluid absorbs the shock and protects the heart. Okay, this fluid absorbs the shock and protects our heart. So these are the two functions. What are the two functions? Reduces friction during heartbeat and protect the mechanical injuries. Okay, protect the heart from mechanical injuries. So these are the two functions. Have you all understood? Now let's see the structure of human heart. The human heart is four chambered. First chamber, second chamber, third chamber and the fourth chamber. So the human heart is four chambered heart. Two auricles and two ventricles. So this two, this area, first one, second one. This upper area is the auricle. Okay, then lower area that is ventricles. So two auricles and two ventricles. Okay, this auricles are thin walled chambers. Auricles are thin walled chambers and the ventricles are thick walled chambers. Understand children? So four chambers are present. Two chambers are auricles are uh, upper chambers are known as auricles and the lower chambers are known as ventricles. Auricles are very very thin. The walls of the auricles are thin and the walls of the ventricles are thick. 
the chambers are separated by partition called septum so these uh, auricles and ventricles they are separated by the partition that partition is called as septum in this region okay it is not visible okay so here that is separated by the partition that partition is known as septum then what is the use of uh, septum this septum prevents the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood so function or what is the use of this septum it prevents the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood now the two auricles are present is that is a right auricle or right atrium left auricle or left uh, atrium okay this two auricles are separated from each other by interatrial septum that is in this area okay so that also it is not visible so these two auricles are separated from each other by interatrial septum the left atrium is smaller than the right atrium is it this is a left atrium is it this is a right atrium so this left atrium is smaller than the right atrium by seeing itself we can find out this left atrium is small and this right atrium is little bit large okay children then the two ventricles ventricles this area lower area is it the two ventricles are separated from each other by interventricular septum here so this ventricles are separated uh, from each other by interventricular septum the ventricles have thick walls already i told is it the ventricles have thick walls because the ventricles have to pump out blood with the force away from the heart why this ventricles have thick walls because it pump out blood with the force away from the heart so uh, the ventricles have thick walls understand children now we have to see the valves so here there are three types of valves are present three types of valves are present they are tricuspid valve bicuspid valve and semi lunar valves so three types of valves so first valves uh, valve is known as tricuspid valve so this is the tricuspid valve okay so tricuspid valve so this tricuspid valve where it is located it is located between the right auricle and right ventricle clear children so this tricuspid valve is located in the right auricle this is a right auricle this is a vent uh, right ventricle okay so between this area uh, between these two this tricuspid valve is located the second one uh, bicuspid or mitral valve bicuspid or mitral another name two names bicuspid or mitral valve so this is the bicuspid or mitral valve so this uh, bicuspid valve where it is located between the left auricle and left ventricle between the left auricle and left ventricle which valve is located bicuspid another name mitral valve okay then third valve is known as semi lunar valve so semi lunar valve so it has two valves that is the aortic valve and pulmonary valve okay where is aortic valve uh, this is the aortic valve aortic valve and this one is the pulmonary valve so two semi lunar valves are present that is aortic aortic valve and the uh, pulmonary valve understand children so three types of valves are present first one is the tricuspid valve second one bicuspid or mitral valve third one semi lunar valve semi lunar two semi lunar valves are present one is the aortic valve and another one is the pulmonary valve now let's discuss how the heart is working the right atrium receives a deoxygenated blood this is the right atrium this right atrium receives the deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body through the main veins superior vena cava inferior vena cava and coronary sinus okay so this is the right atrium Uh, it receives deoxygenated blood uh, from different parts of the body through this superior vena cava and inferior vena cava then pulmonary veins okay where is the pulmonary vein this is a pulmonary vein okay this pulmonary veins bring oxygenated blood 
to the left atrium from the uh, lungs okay this pulmonary veins this also pulmonary veins so this pulmonary veins bring oxygenated blood to the left atrium from the lungs okay now the right and left auricles right auricle and the left auricle pump blood into the right ventricle and the left ventricle so this uh, right auricle pump blood to the right ventricle left auricle pump blood to the left ventricles then the right and left pulmonary arteries so this is the pulmonary artery so this pulmonary artery um, arise from the pulmonary trunk or pulmonary branch this region is the pulmonary trunk or pulmonary branch so this pulmonary arteries arises and it supplies deoxygenated blood to the lungs got it children so this pulmonary arteries uh, supplies supplies deoxygenated blood to the lungs okay then the left ventricles the left ventricles give rise to aorta this region is this is aorta okay this, so this left ventricle give rise to aorta which carries oxygenated blood to the different parts of the body so it carries oxygenated blood to different parts of the body so in this way the heart is working today's study portion is roman number 5 question number 1 5 and 6 and roman number 6 question number 5 and 8 so these questions learn thoroughly